What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Peas World. Let's get straight into it. I am 100% on board with the 4B movement for the women on the left. Cut that hair. Tie them tubes. <laughs> Stop reproducing. The last thing we need is more of your little green-haired gremlins running around shitting in litter boxes. And if you stop reproducing, it's only going to be the children of Republicans that are going to be popping out. Facts. So cut that hair. Tie those tubes. Go for it. Dude, I absolutely love it. I, I applaud this man. I applaud this take. Just so we have some context, I wanted to get into what the 4B movement actually is. It's the 4B or the 4 No's radical feminist movement that emerged in South Korea during the mid to late 2010s on Twitter and on the website WOMAD. Makes sense, I guess. The name refers to its defining four tenets, which all start with the Korean language term by. By? Okay, whatever. Meaning no. Its proponents do not date, uh, proponents do not date, get married, have sex, or have children with men. So the four no's are no sex with men, no giving birth, no dating men, no marriage with men. Good Lord. Just dying alone. Single mom. Or maybe being single moms, who knows? Progressivism doesn't seem very progressive to me. Um, but let's get back into the video. I just wanted to give you guys some context so you knew exactly what we were talking about when we were talking about the 4B movement. Let's get into it. Had a baby boy. The internet is losing it. Not in a good way. So as it says here, Margot Robbie has welcomed her first child, a boy. This girl goes, girls, we lost. Lost what? What did we lose? Uh, they go on to say, I can't believe she became a boy mom. Tragedy. Are you well? So are you well? I'm not even gonna get into this comment right here. She says, it's simply not fair that a male gets to grow and say his mother is Barbie. <laughs> I would say she could try again for a girl, but I would never want to subject a little girl to having an older brother. Like what? What is wrong with people? Not everyone should have an opinion online. That's it, there, I said it. We spoke about this the other day. I mean, that's so weird. Why would they not be congratulating her? Go, you go girl, have your kid. But I always say misery loves company, bruv. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working Working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. They don't want you to be happy. They want you to be sad, just like the rest of them. So, I just broke up with my therapist. Um, Breaking up with your therapist? <laughs> Since when did therapy become like a personality trait? Therapy is one of those things you should go for six months and be done. Chat, let me know if you agree. I don't think that you should go to freaking therapy for like a year, two years. Me and my therapist, we're just, we're best buddies. We're just such good friends. What happened to the good old days when you didn't even need therapy? You just needed to freaking rub some dirt on it and chew on a stick or something. But it's like nowadays, like going to therapy is like a personality trait. It's insane to me. And I guess I'll tell you why. <laughs> Basically, I went in there today. It was more like an emergency session, only because I really have been having trouble. Like after this election, I really have been having trouble. And so anyway, she had emailed me the other day and I told her like I wasn't doing well. So she made some time for me. She made an appointment for me, which I appreciate. And I told her that before I left. Of course she's gonna make an appointment from you. She's making money off of you. Stupid. That's what these women don't get. But, um. I went in today and I, I, you know, I asked her, I said, I have a question for you. Like, I, need, I just need you to be honest. And I said, did you vote for Trump? And she made a face and then she told me basically, yes. Of course she voted for Trump. She's a business owner, you dummy. She wants her taxes lowered. She did. And I asked her, I was like, can you explain that to me? Like, can you explain that decision to me? And she was like, I mean, for one, his policies. And I was like, big bag, big what bag. policies? And she was like, well, one thing, I, I want, I, I don't like my groceries being 
so so damn so damn expensive, so, so freaking expensive, something like that. And I'm not gonna lie, that statement, that sentiment gave me great pause, and I didn't really have much to say for a couple seconds. Um, Imagine judging someone as a person based off their political affiliation. Imagine, dude. I don't care who you voted for. And I think that's the difference between people that are more based and logical versus emotional. It's like all the emotional people seem like they went left with Kamala. And it's like a lot of the logical people that were just based were like, yeah, I'm just voting for who I think is the winner. But like, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to look down on you if you voted for someone. But, but the left is going crazy on this. And then I asked her, like, so did you think about me? Like, when you went in that booth, like, did you think about me at all? And she was like, what do you mean? I don't understand your question. I said, you know, your black female child of immigrants client, did you think about me when you went in the booth? She said, no, I don't think about you like that. Like, I come here and I listen to your problems. That's my job. Um, did you think about me like that? And... That said everything. <laughs> that said everything for me. I'm not gonna lie. I considered staying for the session. I considered, you know, small talk or whatever. But uh, I've overextended myself as a black woman for too long. Because the truth is that when I walked into that booth, I mean, metaphorically speaking, I filled out my absentee ballot. But when I filled out my absentee ballot and I voted for Kamala Harris, I voted for her rights. I voted for her rights to the medical abortion she just had to have for her incomplete miscarriage. I voted for her rights to that. And you're telling me that... Here's the whole thing with the abortion stuff. I saw a video on Twitter, and I'm going to show you guys really quick. It's a doctor talking about it, and it's actually pretty alarming. Um, so <clears throat> here's what he said. This is the absolute truth. I did 1,200 abortions, first and second trimester. One was for R-wording, two was for incest. Nine of 10 were from genetic defects, and all the rest of them were healthy moms and healthy kids. But people don't want to believe that, but it's the truth. Truth. I did 1,200 abortions, first and second trimester. One was for rape, two were for incest, about nine or 10 were for genetic defects like trisomy 21, and all the rest of them were healthy moms and healthy kids. Mm -hmm. People believe what they want to believe and they yeah. don't want to believe that, but that is the truth. Yeah. That's from a doctor, bruv. That is from a doctor and even from me. That's what's so crazy to me It's like, most of it's just like healthy females. We have a problem with promiscuity. Chat, let me know if you agree with this. We have a problem with promiscuity right now. Women are all on OnlyFans, bucking a ton of dudes, becoming single moms. Single mom. That's a big problem in my opinion. I don't think we should have as many single moms. As we've seen, and I've shown you guys the studies, fatherless homes raise the majority of the degeneracy in society. So do we want more single moms producing more degeneracy, or would we rather promote nuclear families? And if some of those things are taken away and it promotes women not spreading their legs all the time, getting abortions all the time, maybe this could be a good thing. Cheaper groceries was enough for you to overlook the hate, was enough for you to overlook the violence. It was enough for you to overlook everything that is going to affect my day-to-day -day life, your client's day-to-day -day life. And I understand how that could benefit oh, her I don't in some way. Me. And I'm trying not to think- <laughs> I'm so stupid. Stupid. I'm sorry, chat. About it that way, because um, then that makes her a worse person than I could ever think. But I spent the last two years of my life with this person. I'm a senior in college. I was a sophomore in college when I first started seeing her. That's what um, I'm saying. It's a personality trait. She's been seeing this chick for two years. Um, she knows things about me that most people do not know. And to know that you view yourself as my white savior, to know that you view me as less than you, to know, I mean, whether you meant to or not, that's exactly what it is. You should have stayed for a session. Okay. Uh, dude, that unreal. Uh, it's just judging someone based off their political affiliation is absolutely wild to me. Anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman? Because um, we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. Ooh, girl, you up with that video. Do you realize? It's really illegal. That that is a felony. We all know who you were referring to. We all know that just because you went and deleted your video, many of us were able to save it she or cooked. save it from somebody else who already made a video. Your face is now out there for everybody to see. That's actually a really good way to get the cops, the FBI, the SWAT, everybody showing up at your house first thing in the morning. Like, are we, are we actually okay? Are y'all not thinking logically here? I just am a...
<laughs> Somebody actually. Well, what's so crazy to me is they always complain about the violence, but that's the kind of stuff they're posting. Is like how to hire a hitman. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you like a big proponent against? against the hate and against the the violence but yet you're a proponent of it it just it cracks me up she called me on the phone this morning we usually talk on the phone in the mornings and she's like have you heard of this 4b movement back, and i was like back. no and she goes well these liberal women are threatening to shave their heads and go abstinent and i'm thinking well i'm gonna have to go watch some videos but you mean they're not going to give birth to any more crazy liberals for the next four years. And we've gone so left that now we're right, that they're actually going to practice abstinence, which is really good if you don't want to have to go have an abortion. That's really the way to do it. Because here's my thing. Yep. If you don't, having a baby should, the decision to have a baby should be made before you get in the bedroom. And you shouldn't be having SEX with someone that you don't want to have a baby with. And quite Preach it. But frankly, y'all, I hate to say it. This may get me some heat. Y'all aren't exactly the women that men are hound dogging after. Y'all aren't the type of women. Shots <laughs> fired! And your attitude? I've never in my <laughs> She's cooking! Let this woman cook, bro. Let her cook. And your attitudes and the way you look and act, men are not coming after y'all's coochie. They're just not. So do them a favor and please do go abstinent. That's how many less Democrats that are gonna be born? And you're actually not gonna be out harming babies? Y'all want to talk about how 50% of women voted for Trump and how our lives are centralized. This one girl, she said, your lives are centralized amount, around men from the moment that you're born. And, and you want them to think you look good and you want them to take care of you. You know, it is nice as a heterosexual woman to have someone that thinks you look good, that will open your door, that will pay for your dinner. But that doesn't mean you can't be independent. Hell, I'm a Marine. And I own a firearms business. I do things that average women don't do every day, but I still like having like a real man in my life. So do us all a favor because you know. Hey, shout out to all the service members. Happy Veterans Day. We appreciate you guys, man, for real. Most men aren't going to want to have SEX with someone that's going to go and take out their child if they don't, you know, if they have an accident. So you're really doing everyone a favor. This isn't going the way that you think it is. It's simply not. What this woman just described at the end there was badass. To like leave preaching. That. As somebody who has been an SEX worker slash dancer for the past seven years. <sighs> Are you surprised? Looking like a cue ball? Shots fired! With the cumbrellas. And has just now been able to like leave that in. Does she have heaven tattooed on her neck? <laughs> the irony. Or maybe her maybe her throat is heaven. Maybe that's what it is. Industry to be doing the social media and just like talking in front of a camera, being myself and having the support of the girls, the gays and the theys and being on two completely opposite ends of the spectrum as far as like what I'm doing for work. I have seen how men behave like truly at their core, raw and unfiltered. And it is fucking jarring. And before any of you are like- You've seen the men that you've come in contact with act that way. Because women are marketers and men are salesmen. And if you're marketing your body to men, you're gonna get men that are looking at you in an animalistic way. So this makes sense. Not my husband, not my boyfriend. Girl, you might wanna think twice about that. The point being, the way that they talk about women, because they'll come into the club and they'll tell you their whole fucking life story. Some of these guys, I'm like their therapist, right? They're venting to me about their lives and you know, whatever. And these women- They're telling you everything because they know you're meaningless. <laughs> you're a scripper, come on. In their lives that they are supposed to love, protect and care for, the way that they speak about them, their wives, their, their girlfriends, their sisters, their daughters, their mothers, it is so sick and fucking twisted it really is like the th what's more sick and twisted a man coming into a strip club speaking about women disgustingly and just being a disgusting person or a man coming into a strip club being a disgusting person and then giving you money to pleasure him and you still do it even though you know <laughs> I mean, he's got a point right <laughs> you're hearing all these disgusting things and you're like yeah or let, let me let me shake my butt for ten dollars for a couple couple songs here. Like, I love how she's trying to play this moral hierarchy. Like she's ethically the better person. It's like you're still a stripper, dude. <laughs> you're still bouncing your butt cheeks for dollar bills. Like, are you really the one to sit here and say who's worse, who's better? Heard it. Just the the way that they have spoken about 
you know, these women in their lives as if they're just like these objects and it's just like, you know, who gives a fuck? Meanwhile, you can tell that that, that woman in their life thinks that they, thinks the world of this man. Like it is just so mean? jarring. So if any of you or anyone you know is still fucking on a man that is one, not as mad as you are about all of this, two, not really doing shit, or three, supporting all of this shit, Wake up, babe. We're done. It's it's done. Pack it the fuck up. The coochie is closed. It's it's closed until fucking further you, notice. Like you know what? Maybe yours should be. I have a very small circle of men in my life that are vetted. A lot of them I have known my the entirety of my fucking life. Of this Imagine this one vetting. <laughs> what are the prerequisites to be her friend? Very small circle of men that are like vetted in my life that I'm like, okay, you're good. You passed the test. Very small circle. Other than that, I'm fucking scared. Okay. I'm scared because I know how y'all fucking behave. I know how y'all behave when you think nobody's fucking watching. Language, honey. Goodness gracious. Language. Just a bunch of F-bombs and this and that's. And here's a chick I found on um, Twitter. She's actually cooking, bruv. This goes out to all the women who are now participating in the 4B movement. Congratulations, you finally figured out what abstinence is. You also figured out that it's kind of important that you want to have a good relationship with the person that you're having sex with. Because when you're doing the act of procreation, there's a slight possibility that you might actually procreate a child. You also proved, though, that you are in fact using this as a form of birth control and not in the 0.01% of the two things that I cannot mention on TikTok. But I gotta say, pardon my French, but how fucking dare you that you sit in America and all your privilege and shave your head and post some of the most horrendous, awful, evil, and just disgusting disgusting things that I have ever read and seen on the internet directed towards other women who simply just voted different than you, then called for the eradication of an entire color of men, also just because they voted different to you. You sit there and you fear monger so bad to women in America while there are women overseas where it is illegal for their voices to even be heard, where they are bought and sold as pleasure commodities for men. Where were you guys on October 7th when there were things happening to women that I cannot talk about, mention, or allude to on this app because of how awful and disgusting and evil they are. We are so privileged in America to be able to do all of this and you sit there and just stop bullshitting me. Bro, preach. I love seeing the based women. It's always the best. It's always the best seeing the based women. Um, let's get into this, get back into Pee's World Circus show here. Um, bro, this, the shaving of the head. What is this? What is that? Shaving your head? I heard people were doing this and I was like, no. I hadn't seen it yet. For two days I've been hearing about the 4B movement, people shaving their heads, but I hadn't actually seen it yet. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Girls, real. nobody's coming after your rights. For They're real. real. It's not even real. And now you're bald. Okay, you guys, I'm not trying to be mean, and please don't take this the wrong way. But if you do, I really don't care. All the women, I want to ask you men something. And please be honest with me. Okay. All the women that's doing the 4B movement, shaving their head and wearing these blue bracelets, do they look like women that you would actually go for in the first no, place? Absolutely not. Like, first look thing at them. from it. Would them be the women that you would actually approach? No. Like, keep it all the way 100. No, it would never. Like, they look It's like natural selection. They're, they're taking themselves out of the dating pool, which is great for us men. We love it. Avoid us. Great. Where are the base chicks at that are hot and natural? But they were already celibate, and it wasn't on purpose. Like, them women look untouchable. And I don't mean that Think in so. a gangster way. I mean that as a... Ew, gross. The poisonous frogs of society they usually color their hair put f facial piercings all on their nose septum piercings the crazy colored hair it's like a sign that's what the, that's what the, the venomous frogs do in the amazon <laughs> that's what they do five cats in their house and they smell like piss that, like <laughs> do them women look like they are actually the women that y'all would literally go for no like y'all are literally doing this movement and you shaving your head for nothing nothing because the men that i know wouldn't even look at you twice. Like literally they would jump over you to get to every other woman mm -hmm. besides you. Like, tell me if I'm wrong, man, because I'm looking at these women like, 
Do y'all even like me? Because half of y'all look like y'all playing for the other side. But, hey, that's just on me. Like I can't lie to you. They're all... Bro, uh, she, she's preaching. I love it. She's, she's so right, though. She's so right. A lot of these women look like they're swinging for the other team. They're not even playing for the right team here. But the 4B movement is, is actually wild. But it, it, at the end of the day, the 4B movement's doing what we need it to do, but they feel empowered about it. That's what's so... It's kind of beautiful, right? It's like, wow, like, you guys are doing what we want you to do, but we didn't even have to ask you to do it. You think it's empowering to do it. It's even better. It's like the best brainwashing technique is to convince someone else that it's their idea and it's their it's so empowering to themselves. So shout out to the guy that invented the 4B movement. And who knows if it was a guy, who knows if it was a chick, I don't know. But like, at the end of the day, it's great. No sex, no giving birth, no dating men, no marriage with men. Like, cool. You ladies can stay away. We want the based conservative women. That's what we want. The logical ones. That's what we want. Uh, unless I'm unless I'm tripping, chat. <laughs> Let me know if I'm tripping. <laughs> But I feel like that's what most guys want. A base logical chick. Like, Cash just got home from getting the groceries. She's putting the groceries up. That's what I want. She, she ain't into all this, like, yeah, women empowerment and tie your tubes and shave your head. The last thing she wants to do is that. <laughs> it's beautiful. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. And also, The Four Steps to Style Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Com uh, it's in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.